your body is is actually battery powered. You are a battery powered machine and you have a chemical battery which is basically stored saturated body fat. So you're only supposed to be eating maybe 10% of your existence or 5% or 1%. And the rest of the time, you're supposed to be running off of stored body fat. So your body has to be tuned for what it's doing most of the time, which is literally just running almost all your metabolism off of stored body fat and really just only using glucose when your maximum output energy output needs go up to 80, 90, 100%, like you're sprinting from a saber-toothed tiger or something. So your body's tuned to just run off of saturated fat all the time. And then you use glucose for emergencies. So when you overload your body with glucose all day, every day, you're kind of forcing yourself to be in this fed state nonstop. So you actually downregulate your ability to just run your mitochondria off of saturated fat, which is what they're designed to do. Looking at it through an evolutionary lens, we would hunt and gather. Um, you're basically running off of stored body fat most of the time. And then you get a whole bunch of food together and you cook it and you eat it. And then you rest and digest. And then it all starts all over again. So what's not really evolutionary appropriate, I don't think, is to just eat all day long. Like roll out of bed, immediately eat something. Just have food right there and eat it. And then have a snack and then eat again. And then make yourself eat three times a day to the clock on a schedule. You know, we've just really exploded the amount of times a day that we're eating with all of our snacking, driven by the snack food industry, of course, because, you know, the more you eat, the happier they are. And it's really, really advantageous to roll that back. And we have all kinds of studies now on time-restricted eating. You can take any overweight or diabetic dog, cat, rat, mouse, or human, shrink their access to food from 24 hours a day down to, say, 8 hours a day, and they will immediately lose weight, lower body fat, lower blood sugar, reverse insulin resistance. It's fairly magical. And I am a huge fan of time-restricted eating. I personally do a 16-8 every day, this sort of lean gains protocol where I skip breakfast and then just eat lunch and dinner in an eight-hour window. And I think that's a really, a really great hack for a lot of people. If you're lean and you're healthy and you have plenty of headroom in your adipocytes and you're mostly running off of fat, so you're pretty good at doing that and you're really in touch with hunger and satiety, uh, you know, I think that people can get away with these cheats, especially if they're doing some intermittent fasting to deplete liver glycogen, doing a lot of exercise to turn over muscle glycogen. Insulin is basically just signaling the fed state. And I think the secret there is to keep it pulsatile. You know, you just don't want high insulin all the time. You really don't want to eat a handful of Skittles every you know, two minutes for 24 hours, it's probably bad. With eating fat and protein rich foods instead of carbs, they have a higher satiety factor. So you tend to be full, right? I feel like that's a huge thing that people don't really understand. Protein is the most satiating macronutrient, uh, dramatically more satiating than the others. Fat is second and carbs are the least satiating and alcohol literally makes you hungry. If I just give you a little appetizer of protein, two hours later, you're going to eat way less than if you preload with anything else, fat, carbs, sugar. The worst is a combination of sugar and fat. You eat a mixed sugar and fat preload, and you're going to really eat a ton downstream from that.